So this is not the first Brax I've had. In I've had their IPA before. This one is their orange IPA. Has practically the same look. Uh, another one wasn't too bad. So let's see how this one goes. Bottle wise, uh, yeah, it's as I mentioned in the earlier review, it's not too bad. Just sort of cruising there. It is written in uh, English and some other languages. So check that out. And it's got a naked cap. Well, they weren't lying when they said this was an orange IPA. You can definitely smell that. Uh, it's coming through quite nicely. And it's hard to get anything much beyond that, to be honest. Uh, it, it, to be honest, it's not like uh, fresh oranges. It is like artificially. As the name suggests, this beer is also orange. Apart from the smell, it is also orange. Well, this beer has actually given me something to think about. A lot of beers are just sort of first sort of taste. You know what you're dealing with. This is something I really haven't been exposed to before. Uh, is that good? Is that bad? Uh, interesting question. I think it's good. There is, at the start, it's like a big hit of that orange, which is coming through in the smell. So maybe that's also contributing to why it's so strong at the start. And then it pops through after that with... Uh, yeah, this like IPA vibe and it's coming through fairly hoppy. Uh, I guess I like it. Like I said, I haven't really been exposed to many beers that tasted like this before. Maybe the reason for that is this isn't a beer I could see a lot of, like drinking a lot of, so maybe people don't put it out. As a special, I think this is a super interesting beer to try out. Uh, really good one to taste, you can get your hands on it. and. Yeah, that's Brax, second one down. I've got a few more coming up, so stay tuned. But that's a pretty good beer if you're up for something a little bit different. See you, sir. Dry, dude.